Hello and welcome back to Vintage. Nope, that's enough of that. I think we can truly say that we failed. Let's try something new. Well, hello and welcome to Griffin, Indiana. So, we're starting off this Let's Play with all the standard kit. We have a pickup truck. Nice red there. We have a basketball net. We have a John Deere. Or oh, is it a John Deere 7810? I don't really know the John Deere <coughs> the John Deere models that well, but uh, we'll get to know that tractor very well. We've got a Welga a Velga um, trailer. I've got a top liner. Oh, we've got a gator. Superb. Uh, we've got a top liner harvester with a cereal crop header. All of these machines are fairly worn and dirty. We have to keep on top of that. We have a Nordstone cedar. And we have this Rabe cultivator. I'm pretty sure that's all we start off with. Uh, we have a fermenting silo there, and we have a regular silo there. As for land, we're on plot 44 now, which is the, basically the farm and the main entrance. 50, which is a field. And 45, which is just grassland. So in field 50 at the minute, we have soybeans. And they are not ready to harvest. Uh, I want to buy the field info. Which will show me how they're doing it for. pH is okay. Nitrogen is... Ah, uh, that's okay because they're soybeans, aren't they? They don't need nitrogen. So we're good. No weeds. So. Basically... There's nothing for me to do in the first month unless I buy some equipment. Now, as I have a fermenting silo, I assume that means... And I've never used a fermenting silo before, so I don't know. But does that mean that I can drop fresh-cut grass off here? And it would turn it into silage for me? Let's see if it comes under productions. Yes, it does. Ah, so yes, you drop... Uh, you can make hay silage and grass silage as well. How about that? So chaff silage and hay silage, that returns the most, but grass silage is an option as well. So I think we should get a mower, and we'll drive down to the store to get the mower. Um, and that will give us a good chance to have a look at the map while we go. So uh, mowers, mowers, mowers. What should we get? Uh, ah, one of these passengers will be absolutely fine. To start with. Uh, do we want a logo on it? Doesn't cost anything. Let's have logos. Swath plate. Also does not cost anything. I don't know. Uh, right, well, that'll do us nicely, I think. I have to keep an eye on the money. Ah, oh, yes, we're set to automatic engine start. Let's turn that off straight away. Yeah, we'll turn that off there. Uh, what other settings have we got here? Seasonal growth is on. Periodic ploughing required is off because we're in the new age now when it's not needed. Frowned upon, in fact. Uh, all the workers want to be turned off for that. Animals can be removed when health drops to zero. Yes, let's do. Let's have that. That's realistic, or more realistic, isn't it? Okay, so here is our tractor. In fact, I probably. Probably should have had a look at where we're going. Right. 
Uh, ah, here's the stool down here. So it'll be end of the driveway. Well, end of the driveway, turn right. Left, right. And we will find out later on. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's go get ourselves a mower. Put the beacons on. That gives us a good chance to have a look at our grass field, actually, which is the one straight across there. Oh, that's that's it's meadow grass, so it's not too bad. Um, we're also good. Oh dear, I just I just thought we're also going to need a forage wagon, aren't we? So let's take the weight off because we can bring both back at the same time if we take the weight off, can't we? Uh, lower that down and take it off to remember where I put that or we're gonna lose it yeah that grass field should provide a good chunk of grass for us it's quite a big big open grass area in fact huge open grass area absolutely massive well this is my first time on an American map and it does feel very big lots of wide open spaces anyway I'm liking this tractor already have a quick look inside yeah it's looking good it's even got a clock down there we love a clock yeah nice tractor Like I said, I'm not overly clued up on the make and models of John, or the, the models of John Deere. Ooh. Yes, you need to remember I'm driving on the right-hand side of the road. It's quite a nice little place here. With a nice little town. Let's take this road. Seems to be more of a main road here. Griffin, Indiana. Well, I've never been to Indiana. Never been to America, really. I went to Disneyland when I was younger in Florida, but that's not going to America. That is just going to a theme park. So, at some point, I would quite like to go to America. Ah, uh, here's the train track. Ah, there must be the store over there. Better turn in here then. Yes, here we are. Cleaver Motors. All right, I suppose we better buy a forage wagon as well then. Hmm. They're quite expensive. We're going to have to go for a bit of a cheaper one. Uh, now there's that one. Well, there's that one, but that's tiny. We'll be forever empty in it. That one's not much bigger. But it's a little bigger. Yeah, I think we should go with that. And um, do I want additional silage, add, additional additive tanks? Probably not to start with. Well, that's taken us down to 40,000. But we're going to be getting a lot of grass in. Uh, yes, that folds up. Right, good. Um... Yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of grass in to convert to silage. Uh, if I was to buy a tedder, then I could turn it into hay and then get even more silage out of it. However, 
I think the best thing to do for now would be to just do it as grass. We don't also have any animal enclosures just yet. That's something we can look into. Definitely like to do cows. And I mean, possibly we could even start with sheep because we'll have all the equipment to feed them. But first of all, we're going to get a cut of silage, or a cut of grass, sorry, and we'll turn it into, uh, put it into the fermenting silo. Start that production there. Right, I'll see you guys back at the farm. Right, here we are back at the farm. So I have also realized that uh, I will need a windrower. Um, so I should have bought the... I should have bought the, uh, the mower with the swath plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just upgrade it now. Hopefully. Here we are. So if I customize that and I buy it with the swath plate. For the zero pounds. Then we shouldn't need to row it up. Well, that's the hope anyway. Right. I'll drop this. Just around here. There we go. Pick up the mower and then we'll get mowing in our big grass field. No idea what the yield's going to be like. It is meadow grass after all. But I think... Um, <clears throat> once we get to a certain point... I think I'll put the weight back on now while I remember, actually. Uh, once we get to a certain point, we could carve up that field and uh, keep some of it as grass, but also create a, another arable field in it, I think. That would be the right thing to do. But for now, let's get those gates open over there. And we're going to go and start cutting grass. bit of a swath it's not that widespread so hopefully we'll be able to pick it up with the uh, with the forage wagon there's our field of soybeans it is a big field doesn't look this big on the map got to be honest it looks a lot smaller than this on the map but but we are in America everything is huge so I'm going to get as much of this cut as I think we need to because, to be perfectly honest, it's an absolutely massive field. And I think what we're going to do here is we're going to just do a section at a time. We'll just go up to the pond here. It's a beautiful little pond. And, um, yes, we'll cut this big square section. We don't need to do it all at once. And then we'll get this grass in here fermenting. So. I'll do this now and I'll see you in a bit.
All right, well, there we are. That has given us many, 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 many nice, neat swaths to pick up. I feel like a windrow would be a decent purchase once we've gone this, this first load of silage. Right. Where can I leave the mower? Not in there. That's more of a hayloft. What space have we got in here? Yeah, let's leave it in here. We can leave it in front of the cedar because we'll need the mower again before we need the cedar. Right, drop it off there. Go pick up our forage wagon. And then we'll get to picking up. I've got, to, I've got to admit, I think it's going to take quite a while for us to pick this up. But, that's okay. We're still at very early days in this Let's Play. And, uh,. Yeah, gotta start by working hard. Now there's plenty of space in this field for things like animals as well, so we could definitely turn this into a bit of an animal yard too. And um Yeah, I think I think there's plenty of space for animals. I mean, there's absolutely huge field it is around the lake and everything. Um, and I think maybe you know, even the section we've cut, we can keep as grass, and then have a track from those gates down to over there somewhere with some am animal pastures. Well, I've started thinking about this already, so. But it's filling up quicker than I imagined. We're uh, a third full now, having only gone up one one swath. I've got a feeling this is going to generate quite a bit of grass. I've no idea how much the fermenting silo can take. Um, but there's a good chance we might fill it. Looks like we're going to get a nearly a full, which is one loop of the field done for a full trailer load, which isn't bad. have to wait and see but yeah this is um yeah a beautiful little lake to have a yard around with some animals isn't it so that is definitely an option it's um it's flat enough so that just a little bit of terrain is editing we could make it work yeah yeah i think that would be good Earliest possible opportunity, we want to start getting sheep sheep and cows, I think. And both of them will eat grass. Although, to be honest, after this round of silage, a tedder and a windrower should be the next next things on the list of things to purchase. Look at that. And that is us. Full. So we have many, many loads here, and I hope that fermenting silo has a big, a big capacity. Let's get the first one in and then have a look at how much is uh, how much it's filled it up. First one's going in. Quite a big silo. I imagine, hopefully, we'll be able to get quite a lot of grass in there. Right, let's have a quick look then. Okay, there's a good chance that we're going to fill this up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate it. Uh, 24,000 cycles per month. So it can, be, it can be working its way through that grass while we're picking up more which means we'll be able to fit more of it in by the end. 
There's also plenty of space around on this yard uh, if I wanted to put animals here, but it is it isn't as flat. It's a bit more hilly, and uh, I think we'll come into issues on that with with the ground. I don't know. Maybe I could use some um, fenceless husbandries or something like that and keep the animals up in the main yard. There's plenty to think about. We've only just started work on this map and there is so much, so much to think about and so much that I want to do. So we're going to start off with having um, having this Let's Play as a one day a week. Very quickly, that's going to, that's going to increase as we get to the end of the... Um, the roleplay series we're currently working on uh, as a gap filler until until the new roleplay series starts we're going to be doing more episodes of this and more episodes of survival challenge and survival challenge is working its way up to 100 episodes but that isn't going to last forever but yeah this is one of the main series that i want to focus on this one survival challenge and then the new roleplay series oh and obviously perfect multiplayer it's going to continue as well right then it looks like i'm going to be doing many many trips back and forward so i'm gonna do another time lapse we'll get this done and then we'll catch up before we finish for today Right, there's only so much of that I can do in one day, and uh, I think we've done quite well. We've <laughs> we've definitely done a a lot of grass. We've picked up a lot of grass. We've got silage on the way. So I'm going to leave the rest of the grass pickup until next time, and then we can start selling some silage as well because it will be all ready. I've got high hopes for this series. I think this series is going to go rather well. I'm very pleased with how it's going so far. So, thank you so much for watching. Do let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.